Imagine the impact that Rotary could have. Rather than having 1.2 million members, Rotary had 2, 3, 4 million members. Imagine the impact that your club could have on this community if your club were 2, 3, 4 times the size that you are now. So let's put the concept of being bolder and bigger aside for a moment and just concentrate on making our Rotary Clubs better. How does a Rotary Club become better? I wish there was one simple solution, but that's not the case. I've been involved at the district level for the last 10 years. I was the district foundation chair, so I've had a lot of experience going to clubs and observing what they do. So I've put together a list of things that I feel are best practices, and I've shared this with all of my presidents at PETS. Now, if your club is already doing some of these things that we suggest, you should congratulate your leadership for trying to make you a better Rotary Club. If you're not doing some or all of these things, we suggest that you consider this something you may want to start enacting and initiating in your club. We could start with considering Rotary International President Tanaka's theme this year of peace through service. Since we don't have wars or international conflicts in Central Florida, how do we apply this theme of peace through service? Why not apply this theme to our clubs? To be a better Rotary Club, we need to establish peace within our club. A Rotary meeting should be an enjoyable experience. It should be a place where our members are treated with respect and we should all act in a professional manner. We cannot achieve greatness as a Rotary Club until we establish peace. I have a district theme for the year. It's called Rotary First. It's making the concept of Rotary the centerpiece of what we as a Rotary Club stand for. I even designed my own button called Rotary First and I actually have my logo in my jacket of Rotary First. Rotary First is the concept of making, like I said, Rotary the centerpiece of what we as a Rotary Club stand for. But before the concept of Rotary First can be initiated, we must first answer a question. Do we want to be a Rotary Club or do we want to be a community club? To be a better Rotary Club, we need to ensure that our club is better organized. We need to dust off and revisit the Rotary Club Constitution and our club bylaws to ensure that we are operating our club under Rotary International Guidelines. Our committees need to be functional committees rather than committees of one. And if you've not already been signed up for a committee, see your club president, I'm sure that he will be glad to sign you up for a committee. Contrary to popular beliefs, the majority of new members do not join Rotary to do service projects. The main reason in joining Rotary is to network both socially and economically. There's even a ratio there that says for the first five years members are involved, they want to be involved in networking socially and economically. Five to 20 years is more into service projects. And after 20 years, it's more into the social. So we actually have three Rotary clubs within a Rotary club. Our problem is, is we're focusing everything on the center part and we're not considering those new members. So if we're to become a better Rotary Club, we must become more attractive to new members. To do this, we must improve the quality of our agendas, ensure that networking is an integral part of our meetings. Members and potential meeting members upon entering our meetings should be met with a greeter and greeted with a friendly smile. Some clubs play music to enhance the atmosphere. Several clubs have every member stand up, walk around, shake hands, and introduce themselves to other Rotarians. Every member should be made to feel special, to feel welcome, to feel that they are a valued member of your Rotary Club. We should guard against our weekly agendas becoming so widespread and so diverse that we lose sight that we are a Rotary Club. The sole agenda of the YMCA and the Boy Scouts is to serve their organization and their members. Shouldn't the primary agenda of a Rotary Club be to serve Rotary and its members? We should consider, consider investing in our clubs and its members. If your club does not have the necessary equipment to run an effective meeting, maybe you should consider investing in a computer, projectors, screens, and order to play YouTube videos, show DVDs, and show PowerPoint presentations. If your club doesn't have a good sound system, maybe you should consider investing in one. Large clubs can consider having one or two wireless mics for the audience. A good sound system can also eliminate side conversations that occur when members can't hear the speakers. When you used to look out over a crowd of Rotarians and they had their heads down, they were asleep. Now when you look out and see the heads down, they're all texting. 
We should invest in banners, flags, and rotary signage. When a member walks into your meeting, they should know and feel that they are in a rotary club. The Rotary Club of Winter Springs, the gentleman shows up on Thursday night, takes him an hour to set up that meeting room. So when you walk in Friday morning, you know and feel that you're right in the middle of a Rotary Club meeting. Members should leave our meetings with a feeling of enjoyment. Members should look forward to next week's meeting with anticipation and excitement. 